Are you ready for a sexy walk? Hello my beautiful subscribers! I cannot wait to show you what I have in store for you today. Rasa the Dance is here and today we're going to do a sexy walk. Now, there's going to be two sexy walks. They're kind of going to be more or less the same, just the style is going to be a little bit different. And now, why is it important? Because in dance, a lot of the moves are just walking. So we need to build our confidence with the walks and uh, how to hold ourselves, how to move the hips, and how to feel a little bit more sexy when we do this. But remember, this is for dancing. Don't walk like that in the street. <laughs> this is not for street sexy walk. Purely for that. So stick around and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's get straight into business. First, I will show you facing you and then I will show you the other way, okay? We're gonna walk four times forward, four times back. We're gonna base it on like a bachata timing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But you can use the same walk for salsa, for hip hop, for many different things, heel dancing, all kinds of things, yes? But just for now, we're basing four forward, four back. I'm gonna start with my right foot. And now, the most important thing before you start the walk, you have to make sure you engage your core, and that is the stretch of the diaphragm. If you don't know how to engage your core, there's gonna be a video attached in the description box for core exercises, okay? So, I engage my core, my shoulders are nice and relaxed, I'm gonna keep my arms just there away from my sides, and now I'm preparing my right foot, and what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna extend that leg in front of myself, and if you notice, I'm pointing my toes, point, and I'm turning my toes out. Very important when I put my leg I put it right across where the other one is, not in its own line, across. That's what's going to make the hips move better, okay? So as I'm extending and I'm turning my leg out, this is when now I'm taking a step. I'm shifting my weight, my other leg is behind me. Now I'm keeping that leg on the floor and I'm look, touching ankle to ankle, pointing my toes, turning the toes again out and I step, ankle to ankle, turn it out and step, ankle to ankle, turn it out and step, okay? Now, when you're going backwards, it's going to be exactly the same thing. With my right foot, I'm going to go ankle to ankle, step back on a straight leg, ankle to ankle, step back on a straight leg, ankle to ankle, back, ankle to ankle, back. So, a little bit faster, it will look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you notice, the moment you are turning your toes out and you're transferring your weight, this is why you have a hip movement and the fact that you're holding your core makes it also so much more nice. So, we try again, but I'll show you from this position, okay? I start with my right foot, and I'm extending it, turning the toes out, shift your weight, turn the toes out, shift, turn out, shift, turn out, shift. Now, the other leg is going back, turn out, shift, and make sure your legs are passing the ankle. It's touching every single time. And that is one way you can do your walk, that is a little bit more sexy. Okay, if you've been on this channel for a long time, you already know I like a little bit of drama, so I'll show you exactly the same version, but a little bit more dramatic. So when you're dancing, if you want a bit of oomph, this is what you do. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, subscribe. We have an awesome family here. We have a lot of fun with all kinds of videos, so subscribe, subscribe now. Anywho, guys, exactly the same technique. You have to hold your core. We're going to take four steps forward, four steps back. Make sure you're crossing over, toes are turning out. But what changes? I'm actually going to be bending my knee and lifting my leg before I'm extending and shifting my weight. 
So before what we did, we actually glided through the floor. And that's nice, but it's very simple. But now, if you just lift your leg, again, pointing toes, none of this, and then extend the leg before you shift your weight, this is now becoming a little bit more dramatic, yes? Every single step, it just seems a bit more juicy. Now, as you're going backwards, the technique is again, bending the knee, but the step is smaller than forward. Bending the knee, the step is smaller than forward. Bending the knee and crossing, and making sure you're crossing those legs, because that will make your hips move, and always turning your toes out, turning your toes out, okay? And let me show you a little bit quicker, and then I'm gonna turn around and show from the other side as well. So I start by lifting my leg. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And then I'm going backwards. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now, let me show you from this direction, okay? As I'm going forward, I'm extending. Ah, one, ah, two, ah, three, and four, and down, and down, and down, and down. Now, just one more tip before you try this, is try to make sure that you really squeeze everything you have. Try not to be lazy with the stuff because it can become a little bit more in me now, <laughs> yes? So try to be a little bit more engaged. If I am raising my leg, I feel the engaging because of the toes pointing. If I'm extending, I feel a stretch in the leg. If I'm stepping, I am making sure it lasts, yes? So the more you put into it, the nicer it will look, but that definitely makes everything more dramatic. And in dancing, sometimes you might just do one walk and then something with the leg and then a turn or something. So it not necessarily walking forwards and backwards, but it's an amazing exercise. So practice. Sometimes the little things make huge difference. So practice and hopefully it will install a little bit more confidence in your dancing. As I mentioned before, you can click on a video as well for your core and your diaphragm exercises, how to stretch your core. And also guys, if you need also a video for your posture, which would help you for your dancing, there's a video here to click as well. Subscribe, show me some love, leave a comment if you have anything else you want to see on my channel, and I'll see you very soon. Mwah.